Hi, I'm so glad you've joined me for the third video in the beginning wire wrapping series. In the first video, you learned how to make a charm or a pendant with a head pin. Then in the second video, I showed you how to use wire to create a wire wrap link with a bead. The links for both these videos can be found in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use these techniques that you learned in the first two videos to connect the wire wrap links and the charms to each other and also to components and chains. Okay, I've got all my components, my beads, and my tools. I've got my three tools here, round nose pliers that I'll use to make the round loop, chain nose pliers, I'll use these to grip the wire, and of course, my wire cutters. I go over these a little bit more in depth in the first video. First, I wanna show you how to connect the charm I showed you in the first video to a component. Then I'll show you how we can add it to an ear wire for a simple earring design. To start, you're going to take your head pin and make a charm, start to make a wire wrapped charm or pendant like we did in the first video. Again, adding it to the bead, grabbing up above the bead with my chain nose pliers, and then using my round nose to create a loop. And again, in the first video, I go through this a little bit slower so you guys can really see how it's being made. So at this point, I could go ahead and wrap my wire around the neck of the head pin here down to my bead. But first, I wanna show you how to connect it to the component. So before I wrap the wire, I wanna connect it to the component. I have a closed jump ring here that I'm gonna to use to connect. This is a cute little option, but of course, there's other component options that you can substitute. You can get really creative with it. Okay, so we're gonna slide the component onto the head pin wire here. And you're gonna make sure that the component goes all the way inside the loop. So right now it's sitting below it. So if you need to open up that loop that you created just a little bit to get the component in. I'm just gonna move it side to side. Can you guys see how that opened up a little bit there? And then go ahead and pull your component right in. So now it's connected into the loop that you made. Next, I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers to again grab the loop that I created. You wanna make sure that you don't grab the component as well. You just wanna hold the loop. Then wrap the wire around the head pin all the way down to the bead, just as you did before. All the way down. And it should be about three wraps. And then go ahead and take your wire cutters. Get in there nice and close and tight. Cut the tail. And there you have it. Now your charm or pendant is connected to a component and it's not gonna come off. There's nothing open. This component is soldered shut and then our loop is now wrapped nice and securely so it's not gonna pull open. I'm gonna repeat this two more times connecting them all to the component. Okay, so head pin, bead, go ahead and slide that on. Again, the chain nose pliers, grab up above, bend away to a right angle. Use my round nose pliers to make the loop. As you can see there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my component again, slide it on into the loop with my chain nose pliers grab the loop I made and go ahead and wrap and then cut and if I have a little bit of a tail left over I can just get in there with my chain nose pliers and give it a gentle squeeze to lay that wire down 
and one more. Again, taking my head pin, sliding the bead on, and then with my chain nose pliers grabbing up above the bead, bend to a right angle, round nose pliers, grab back from the bend, roll my pliers in to start the loop, pull it around, forming it to the plier. I'm going to just open it up ever so slightly so I can get that component in. Slide the component on and into the loop. Grab the loop with my pliers, making sure not to grab the component, just the loop I just made, and then go ahead and pull the wire around. I've got three wraps. And go ahead and cut. And there you have a cute little component with little charm dangles on it. Now I can easily connect this to an ear wire, which I'm going to show you in just a second, but you can also connect this to a necklace or off of a bracelet, whatever you want. So I'm going to just take a ear wire and find the opening there. Grab with my chain nose pliers, grab the side, just open the loop ever so slightly, just enough to get the component in. Pick up the component, slide it into the loop, the ear wire loop. Take my pliers and go ahead and close that up. And there you have a very sweet, simple earring made with your head pin components, wire wrapped, and a component. Now, it's only limited by your creativity. The variations are endless. Now that we've added a charm to a component, let's use a wire wrap link and combine it with a wire wrap charm to create a longer pendant with movement. So we're gonna start with a wire wrap link. I've already got one made up here. I'm going to do another one and I'm going to create a long dangly earring. You can also use this as a pendant off of a necklace. So again, I'm going to start with some wire just like you saw in the second video in this series. Go ahead and grab about an inch and a half down from the top of the wire. Bend. Take your round nose. Roll it around. Finish off the loop. And then for this side, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So grab the loop, just like we did in the second video. I'm gonna go ahead and close this loop up. I'm gonna build this earring from the top to the bottom. And then go ahead and cut with my wire cutters, making sure that that wire doesn't go flying. You see I've got a little tail there, so I want to tuck it just slightly. Okay, then go ahead and add my bead. Then with your chain nose pliers, grab up from the bead, bend. Use your round nose, go ahead and make another loop over here. On this side, go ahead and pause and don't wrap that second side. So you can see that there's still movement. The neck is there where I'm going to wrap. Now I've got an open loop here, an unwrapped loop here. And I'm going to slide the link that we previously made onto the wire and slide it all the way in so the loop is inside the other loop and they're connected right there. Then I'm just going to use my chain nose pliers and grab the loop I was just making, making sure to not grab the loop from the previous link. I'm only grabbing the loop that I'm wrapping. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my tail and wrap, making sure to lay that wire right down next to the previous one, like so. This should be about three wraps. And then again, Cut the tail. And 
and now you have two links connected. Now you can keep building this way to create a long bracelet or um, a long necklace. I'm going to go ahead and again, like I said, we're going to make a long dangly earring with lots of movement and I'm going to now use this bead on a head pin. So I'm going to connect a charm to this to finish it off. So again, using my head pin, sliding it on there, grabbing up above the bead, bend at a right angle, then use my round nose pliers to create a loop, start rolling it, pull it around, and now I've got an unwrapped loop here, and I'm just going to grab my links that I just combined together, slide it onto the head pin, and again all the way into the loop. So. It's loop in loop. Okay. And then use my chain nose pliers, grab the loop I'm working on, making sure not to grab the other loops because I don't want to deform them. So good grip and go ahead and wrap all the way down to my bead. And then again, using my cutters, cut off that tail, holding it so it doesn't go flying across the room. And there you have a longer length of links and one charm. And again, you can build longer, you can create a bracelet in this way. I'm gonna go ahead and just attach an ear wire. Again, just like I showed you just a little bit ago, open up your ear wire, connect in your loop on the other side and close it up. There you go. Easy. A nice little earring. And again, you can use the same technique to keep connecting links together to create a bracelet or a necklace. Okay, I've shown you how to connect wire wrapped links to wire wrapped charms. Now I want to show you how to make several different wire wrapped links and link them all together to create a longer beaded chain which can be used for a bracelet or necklace. I'm also going to show you how to connect the wire wrap links to chain itself as well. So you want to start with a piece of wire. I like to work with about three inches or so. And as you keep working and getting used to this, you're going to again, really get to know how much wire or how little wire you need for your projects. So again, just like we've been doing this whole time is bend at a right angle with your chain nose pliers, then with your round nose, go ahead and roll a loop. And then take your chain nose pliers, grab the loop, and go ahead and wrap this side. So again, we're doing this one side, we're closing up. And then we're gonna build off the next side. Go ahead and cut that wire. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add a bead and start my loop over here. And go ahead and wrap this side up. I don't have anything to connect it to yet. All the way down to the bead. Cut. There we go. So now we have our base link to start with. And this is what we're going to start building off of. Just start the next one. Again, I'm going to grab a piece of wire. And I'm going to just start my loop again. Hold this, pull the tail down and around, making nice tight wraps. And cut. All right, now I'm going to grab another bead, add that to the wire. And then this time again, I'm going to start my loop. 
but I don't want to wrap it on this side. So anytime you have an unwrapped loop, so you haven't done the three wraps around the neck, anytime you have an open loop here ready for the wrap, you can add anything into it. So in this case, I'm going to add the link that we just made, but you can really add anything, including a clasp, binding, um, chain, which I'll show you here in a second as well. So again, holding on to just the loop that you made and go ahead and pull down and around and wrap. And then cut your tail. And there we have two beads connected in our chain, okay? Now I've got another one already started over here. I'm gonna grab, so this one here, I've already wrapped the one side, just like I showed you. I've got an unwrapped loop over here, and I'm gonna take my beaded chain and connect it on this side. And then go ahead and wrap. And cut and tuck if you need to. I need to tuck a little bit there. Now I've got three connected here. Now I can keep going with this and build my whole bracelet like this and I can connect a uh, clasp in the open loop or chain, which I'm gonna show you right now. So here we've got our wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and start this time with bending the loop, the wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my loop. And on this side, it is an open loop again, and it doesn't have uh, the wraps in it yet. So because of this, I can go ahead and connect my chain in. So I'm going to connect the chain in this side, or the beaded chain in this side, and then the um, pre-made chain in the other side. So again, holding the loop, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap. three times. And cut. All right. Now, oh, I need to tuck that just a little bit there. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a bead. And again, start my wire up on this side, grabbing that from the bead, bending at a right angle. Rolling a loop. Okay. Now on this side, I'm going to go ahead and connect my chain just by sliding the last link of chain right onto the wire, okay, and all the way into that loop. It looks like I put a little kink in that wire. I'm going to straighten that out a little. All right, hold my loop. And again, go ahead and start wrapping the wire around the neck that we had. So now I've connected chain into that last loop and I can make it into a necklace or even add this chain into a bracelet. It's really up to you. And there you go. Now you've got a beaded chain started You've got chain connected to one end as a possibility. Now, you, if you've watched all three videos, you've got all the techniques to make a wire-wrapped link, a wire-wrapped pendant, and you've also learned how to connect all of them. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to combine it to make a necklace. We're going to combine all the techniques. So join me for that video.